Hey guys, it's Yon. Welcome back to the Yon Gaming Show, and today we're playing a game called Loop Odyssey. Uh, I've never really played this style of game before, but I was looking through some pixel art games, and it looked interesting, so I thought, why not? Let's try it out. Um, it's kind of strange. I, I played a little bit of it here just to kind of understand what I was doing. Um, so we'll have to continue here, because unless you want to go through deleting all your cloud saves and everything, it's essentially going to start from where we were so let's just clear everything out here and give you kind of an idea of what we're dealing with so you're this character here and you start at this location and when i was doing the tutorial it asked me to go to this uh, rat nest and to kill a rat and then go here and talk to these uh fire uh, fireflies what they do is um i guess i should say your life is essentially mana. And when you run out of this mana, you start back at square one and try to do the loop again and again. But some of the things you do go along with you to the next loop. So let's uh, let's just give you an idea, a basic idea of what they ask you to do in the in the uh, tutorial. So you, you kind of input things like programming in a computer and go, so we're gonna move right and it puts it here and you go up and now we've landed on this tile. So we have three options here. We got speak, interact, and fight. So we're gonna fight once, because we wanna kill a rat. There's a bunch of rats here, so if you just sit there and fight, you will eventually lose all your hearts. Um, in this case, I, I guess I'm starting with three hearts. Um, so we're gonna kill a rat, then we're gonna head on over here, the fireflies, and we're going to interact with them because they will uh, recharge our our mana as you can see I've been playing a lot here uh, what happens is every time you interact with something you get what's called interacting familiarity and the more familiar familiar you are with that particular tile set it makes things go faster so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head down here and then we have three options here uh, because when you kill a rat you get like a rat corpse and then you can take the corpse here and use it to do one of three things to add plus one to your spirit, which is increases your maximum mana, your heart, which increases the game speed, your movement speed in here, and an interaction. It, it seems to be your interactions with things are faster as well. And then body being your damage and your health. So let's just show you what this little loop shows. So you get this and you're ready to go. You hit go. And I'm going to start. There. But we uh, we need to finish this. I didn't realize. So we're we're here now, and we're gonna pick. We'll pick interact, I guess. So and once you finish your um, interaction, like we see, because we leveled up by killing that rat, and you use one of your levels, I guess, at the. Not really the rat, I guess, but the rat's going to stay there until you use it at um, at the altar. So what I did for this little spoiler, if you don't want to listen to this part, but the um, you have to break through this fence. And in the beginning, you're not strong enough to break through the fence. So you have to kind of work through the loops and build yourself up a bit. So in this case... Um, well, let's just see if we can break through the, oops. See, I, I messed up there. I wanted to put, uh, and I, he's gonna have to attack here. Come to think of it, I don't know if I actually have to tell it to attack, but you know, let's just back up here. So you just click on those and it, uh, it does that. I'm pretty sure I have to actually interact with it. Like by, by interact, I mean attack it. Shouldn't say interact since there's an actual interact. Let's see what happens here. Just so you know, the game is not normally this fast. It's just because I've been playing um, for a while. So there, we made it. As f Let's just see if we actually made it to that point. Okay. Did I forget to tell it to interact there? Nope, it's right there. Do I not have enough mana to interact? No, we do. That's strange why it's telling me to go back to the beginning, so... I guess the point of the game is like when you start only this area is open like this little bit here 
and as you move along you open up the map so let's just scooch over here see if we can go any farther strange it's something's missing there so let's let's back up here figure out what we're doing wrong here stop this So what I did in my game was because you gain you gain mana when you interact with this, you gain 200, but you don't fill up mana. So what I what I did was because each one of these has a certain amount of uses. So you start with one. So when you use it the first time, you'd only have two left. You go here, you interact to get your upgrade. Then I made it go back up, which you can do. Interact again. Go here and interact again. That was how I kind of quote unquote farmed my familiarity in this area. That's why it's so fast. Like you see me go brr, 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 and then it kind of slows down over here because I haven't done as much there. So we're going to attack there. We're going to interact there and we're going to try to make it all the way over here and interact with that to recharge our mana. So let's see if that works. Now we got a little more mana to hopefully make it to this one. There we go. Now we're going to make the long jaunt over to there. And we're refilled again. So now we've made it all the way to here. We've got a few things here I interacted with. This wood pile contains a wooden club. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe it ups our attack. It doesn't really tell us. Uh, sacrifice uh, mob drops to gain affinity. Really sure what that means. Pretty new to this game still, guys. If anyone knows what that affinity means in here, uh, leave me something in the comments. Give me a hand, guys. We have another altar over here. Um, I guess we could interact with it to change, change stuff, but I don't think we can really interact with it unless we have a mob to... Uh, We'd have to like kill another mob to gain a level. So I haven't been able to kill this one because the rat's nest, I'm guessing, because it's easier to kill because rats are easier to kill. Um, so I don't know if we should use it here and then go back up and kill a rat and then go here and come back around again. See, this game could get really confusing. And as you can see, we already have like a ton of commands that we've put in here. You have to be careful because what I ended up doing, I noticed was when I was deleting stuff and adding stuff, I didn't realize I was telling things to go because you can interact with something twice if you want. It doesn't really help you in a lot of cases. It's better to interact, leave, go somewhere else and then come back. Um, like in this case where I was trying to gain our maximum mana. But if we wanted to, um, I guess we could try to interact with that. I don't know if we we gain more by interacting with that without a without a mob to do first so let's do that and we'll interact here again and refill and then start working our way this way is what you're, you're gonna find is you're just gonna keep trying things and that's what's kind of cool about this game um full disclosure i did set the game up and then i had to go shopping and i forgot it was running so when i came back my little dude was moving super fast, so I mean, I don't know if that's something you want to do, but that's the option there. You can leave the game running uh, on loop. There's a the auto loop option here. So, um, but yeah, let's restart and see what happens. We're making it over here. Refill. Oh. I was able to gain uh, an extra spirit, so it gave us more mana. From 700 to 900, and I came back here. So let's, uh, let's stop. So we went from 700 to 900, so maybe we can actually do something else like should we go back towards the beginning I, I i don't know why we should go this way but it feels like i'm supposed to take on this mob 
Uh, is this a rat's nest? Ooh, we got a rat's nest right there. So let's... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to re like heal your hearts, because it seems like I'm always stuck with three. Because if I hit go, I still only have three hearts. The health is six of 24. That seems like really low. But, um... So for this, because we did that, we got to kind of back up a bit here and see, because we were about, you can see here the option lights up to see where you were. So maybe if we set this to attack instead instead of interact, maybe that would bump our, our body up a bit so we gain a little more health, a little more combat damage. Um, then we could come back down here, interact, can we go over here, fight, come back, interact, go here. I, maybe, that may be too many uses because we, this is only two left there. So, let's see, two, two uses. So, yeah, that would only go once up there, twice up here. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's too many uses, Yon. We got to back up here. Back up, back up, back up. What we can do is we can back up, keep going. Before, maybe before going to the altar that first time. I don't think we can go in that area. Uh, let's see. Go here, attack him, interact. Oops. And go back down, interact, and then maybe we can move on. Let's try that one out. But you can see how this is, you kind of piecemeal your way through it and as you gain affinity you'll see here um i guess that's or sorry not affinity familiarity you can see i've crossed this area a lot this is like level 48 that's why i'm moving so quickly when you start the game you will not move this quickly okay so now we're over here we're gonna kill another rat nope not enough root, not enough mana. So, I thought we used that rat meat for something. Can we eat it? Because what does it say? Dead rat. There's still meat on there, though. So, I wonder what we do with rat meat. Hmm. Can't do anything with it as far as I can tell. <laughs> can we cook it? <laughs> At least cook it, right guys? Okay, so if we go here, interact, come back down here, interact over here. What happens if we interact with this? The affinity. I don't really know what the affinity means. Let's let's try it out here. See what happens. A lot of this I've been learning myself today, uh, trying to figure this out. So I'm sure there's a few of you that actually played this game a lot more and know what's going on. If you do, uh, put it in the comments so everyone can see. That way we can all kind of learn together. This is definitely a, a Yon teaching moment if there is if there ever was one. Okay, what does this do? Burn rodent, increase rodent XP. Okay, so I I did cook it. Okay, loop. Okay. Burn burn rodents, increase rodent XP. Plus zero percent next level, 55, 150. I don't know what that means. It's a skill. So, I guess I'm only 0%. Oh, so if I keep doing that, will I get better at fighting the rats? Well, let's just find out here. We're, we're probably going to go up a level in this next loop here. Okay, leveled up. Or filled up mana. Let's see. Okay, level one. Ten percent increased XP from the rodent is. So we don't gain extra. We don't have um, 
it's not so much damage it's the actual experience we get for killing them i don't know what does that mean like we'll get like a bonus eventually and then we'll get two levels for killing a rat instead of one? Oh boy I, I just realized there's a whole lot that i really don't know about this game but i'm hoping you guys do and you can tell me in the comments below but anyway guys i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it let me know how i'm doing in the comments and tell me how to play this game in the comments because i want to know more but with that I hope you're all having a great day. And as always, happy gaming.